Hi, this is Hybrish Caravans, Devon Branch, and uh, today on this very miserable January lockdown day, we're doing some new and used uh, video tours of some of our stock, and this particular one is an absolutely super van. It is our best seller of the last three years since it came out. It is a Chausson Titanium Premium 640. Now, I say last three years, this uh, 640 layout came out I believe it's 2018 model year uh, titaniums appeared for 2019 2020 as a special edition and uh, they've now rolled them out for 2021 as the mainstream top of the range model from Chasson uh, now these are an absolutely amazing seller uh, we sold absolutely bucket loads of titanium 640s over the last couple of years uh, this year due to uh, Brexit related worries um, Chasson have lowered the production levels for the UK is demand in Europe and the UK has gone through the roof but that means there are less of these around so if you do want one uh, don't hang around because there's not many left in fairness to it already so she is a Chausson Titanium Premium 640 based on a 7 meter low profile body shell on the absolutely brilliant Ford Transit uh, 2 litre 170 horsepower is the only engine they offer which is the top of the range one and they are all automatic and frankly why wouldn't you want the automatic it's a 6 speed silky smooth fully automatic gearbox it's an absolutely lovely van uh, the engine is whisper quiet and super smooth and has just torque it's got the torque of a three litre pull of a three litre engine but with the noise level and economy of a two litre it's a, a brilliant brilliant thing in fairness to it well done to ford for uh, for this for the new transit so titanium premium 640 6.99 meters long so it keeps it in the cheaper ferry bracket three and a half ton uh, maximum permissible loading weight unless you want it up plated to 3.9 which is quite cheap if you've got the license to do it but otherwise you've got a payload depending on your spec of over 500 kilos at three and a half ton uh, and you've got plenty of space to take it as well so this is one of the new generation of drop down bed vans so it's got a large king size uh, drop down double bed or a very large double bed with a rear garage as well and a very comfortable twin sofa lounge so I'll have a walk around it is a very grey and miserable day but they are a fine looking van you've got a big panel panoramic front skylight the transit's uh, uniquely got class leading glass area there's loads and loads of big windows big windscreen it's something that the Fiat used to beat the Ford on and then it's like Ford woke up to that and uh, almost beat Fiat at their own game so it's a very light and airy cab we've got um, front fog lights daytime running lights uh, alloy wheels standard on this model as well We'll have a look at the cab spec in a minute, but you've got reversing camera, aircon, cruise and cab blinds. You've got all the nice stuff. You've got these lovely, um, oh, you call it taupe, fawn, champagne coloured sides. Very, very smart. Uh, external shower here. Uh, flu point for your Truma gas and electric uh, water heater. Uh, these are grade three fully winterized. Of course, the French and Germans take these skiing, so they have to be. Uh, you've got big double glazed side windows, thick insulation in the floor and ceiling. Mains hookup, um, if you want a solar panel fitted, probably most of our customers do these days, but if you're mainly on hookup, you don't need one, but if you're going to do a lot of uh, off hookup camping, then uh, we can fit you a solar panel of your choice, or two on the roof. Nice service hatch here, I like this as an idea, so you've got all your service and facilities next to each other, so you've got mains hookup there, you've got your battery charger and your fuses, nice and easy to get to along with your trip switches next to it, you've got a big 100 litre plus inboard fresh water tank where it won't freeze up, when you fill it up instead of having a fiddly cap you fill it from there and there's a tap there to drain it off couldn't be easier couldn't be more accessible either really good nice and easy i like these service hatches a uh, little exhaust pipe down there that's for your heating system so uh, Shoson have been a big user of uh, diesel powered heating systems and i think there's a lot to be said for that because you've got a very large diesel tank and the heating system runs off that it's very very economical um very powerful as well it's been around a long time nice and reliable so as long as you use it a bit give it service every so often uh, it's a really good system you'll see it in trucks boats uh, limousines trains things like that as well so it's very well thought of Coming to the back of the van, so towards the front you've got a gorgeous twin sofa lounge and a large drop down bed and towards the rear you've got a garage. Uh, this side you've got a full height ski locker as they call it in France but you could put a tall friend in there or uh, guns or various things you may wish to put in there but if you don't need the full height you've got a couple of flip down shelves within it. And back here, it is wider from the other side but there is plenty of room for, uh, for a couple of bikes. 
chairs, tables, all the other stuff that in your camping paraphernalia, really, really good. Uh, we'll have a look at it in more detail from the other side. We've got these new positive catching uh, garage locker doors there, which is new for 2021. Around the back, um, 630s, 640s used to have a flip up tailgate, but that meant you couldn't have a bike rack. Sometimes people prefer to put the bikes on the back, keep the garage free for other stuff, and that meant you had to have a high mount wind down bike rack to block the camera. It wasn't good news, so they deleted that, and, and uh, now you can have a bike rack on these pre fitted bike rack fixing arms at a more reasonable height and more reasonable price as well, which is good. Up high there, you've got a reversing camera built into just underneath the high level reversing light, and then you've got your main garage door on the driver's side we come down there you can see it's a really big garage in furnace to it in here we've got silver screens uh, as standard come with the van which is nice you've got a ladder for accessing the bed it is a four berth so you can stop the bed halfway down uh, and if you do you've got a ladder for gaining entry and exit to it and if you don't you can drop it all the way down to seating level which is really really good um, in the garage we've got a light We've got a mains and a 12 volt socket for charging your appliances, your electric bicycles, things like that, your methods of electric chair torture, whatever you're carrying with you. And also handy thing there, when you're sitting around outside, you're on a campsite, you're on mains hookup, you want to plug something in, Bluetooth speaker, external electric cooking items, whatever, you can plug them in there, really, really easy, nice, nice idea. Also new for 2020, or 2019, 2020 onwards, was this hatch, which you'll see on the inside, but simply slides open and that allows you access into the garage from the inside, which is good for many reasons. You can reach your stuff that's in the garage, um, you can chuck food through to any naughty children or husbands that you're making sleep in there, uh, or you can use it for a dog to sleep in here. Uh, and then you've got entry and exit through the back of the van, which is a neat idea. These are the sort of things that happen in the evolution of models, really, in Chauson. They were one of the first. Chauson are France's biggest motorhome manufacturer. They're part of the Trigano Group, which is one of, if not Europe's biggest, uh, motorhome manufacturing group. And uh, they were one of the first companies to do a fixed bed van back in 2008 with the original Chauson Suites, the Mini, the Relax, and uh, the other ones. Um, so, really, they've been doing these longer, and they have sort of perfected it. Chauson are the people who come up with the ideas that other people copy. Now, on the outside, you've got high-level awning light. There's no no factory option from Chauson for a factory fitted canopy. So the big three things that most people who buy these vans ask us to fit for them at dealer level are solar panel on the roof, wind out canopy uh, and a fashion category one alarm system for insurance. All of which can be done relatively inexpensively compared to a percentage of purchase price. Uh, TV aerials as well we can fit and European vans don't come with an aerial. Uh, we can, there's a couple of top options there. We can fit your Wi-Fi system as well. So lots of options there. Big fridge freezer comes with big fridge vents which are far apart, they run off gas or mains electric or 12 volt. Fit for cassette toilet dump point there, bathroom window. And then we've got a gas barbecue point, also standard, very stiff. And we've got a gas locker. Now because the heating runs off diesel, um, they've saved space by giving you a gas locker for one bottle. And it's designed for one 11 kilo European gas bottle, which is fine if you live in Europe. In this country, you'll get a six kilo Calagas bottle in there, or a popular option is to have a refillable bottle fitted from Gaslow. We can do that, or you can do it yourself. And that way you just fill up with gas an LPG filling point at a petrol station. You can fill up anywhere across Britain and Europe, unlike with Calagas, and it's very, very cheap, unlike with Calagas. So uh, it's a worthwhile investment, it's worth thinking of. Habitation door has got central lock-in, fly screen door, and you come straight into the big selling point of a 640, or one of the big selling points of the 640, an absolutely massive front lounge. This is a very UK friendly layout. It's not surprising that this is one of Britain's best selling motorhomes and the best selling shows on in the UK and shows on are the biggest selling European brand in the UK and you can see why because you've got a massive comfortable twin sofa lounge now shows on have listened to our British needs both by designing this um, and also they give us now cloth upholstery instead of the plastic fake leather which is very very popular uh, now instead of the sticky stuff um, lovely space both of these two can very cleverly transform to forward facing seats with seat belts you can just see there, you turn that, and that's your backrest, so that just comes up like that. Uh, move your cushions, and two forward-facing, very comfortable seat-belted armchairs. And that's why the Europeans never used to do twin sofa lounges. It's not because they'd hate to put their feet up, 
is because they always designed their vans to have passengers, unlike the British, um, who had seatbelt laws, which meant they didn't need seatbelts for passengers at the time. Um, but Europeans do need seatbelts or want seatbelts for passengers. Couldn't work out how to do a twin sofa lounge with seatbelts. Now they have, and shows one have done it better than anybody else, because these are nice, comfortable seats, not punishment seats. So really, really nice. You've got a gorgeous big table. Brilliant thing is, it's not too big because it folds in half. It spins around, it's like a queen at chess. It can move in any direction. And when it's time for you to make the bed, or drop down the bed, there's your bed upstairs. It makes a bed downstairs with an infill cushion and you simply press a button. Now I've mentioned before on videos, I've got a very bad back. I'll go the other way. And I've hurt it sometimes by wrestling with drop down tables. So this one, you just press a button uh, whistle the Thunderbirds theme tune and down she comes. Absolute piece of cake. Brilliant. And when it's down, use it as a coffee table in fairness to it. Really, really nice. Uh, you've got a plug charging point down there, which was something a lot of people used to have retrofitted. So again, they've listened to what people want and fitted that for 2021. Quick look into the cab before we uh, go into the bed dropping down process. Upholstered uh, cab seats with titanium embossing on the headrest very neat that six speed fully automatic gearbox this transit is now sold in america where they will only drive automatic so you don't have their stick shift more that's how they speak over there i am half american um fully automatic gearbox brilliantly done big touch screen um box of complication there which can do sat nav if you add a sim card to it and bluetooth digital phone calls and all that sort of malarkey you got climate controlled air conditioning in the cab um steering wheel controls for everything from nuclear missiles to sat navs to phone calls electric windows and mirrors full cab blinds and that massive forward glass area which is just really really nice curtains um they leave them on even though they've got cab blinds on this model they still leave the curtains on personally i'd take them off but um you can keep them on there if you want because they, they do sort of soften the effect lovely big opening pa paranoid panoramic skylight for above there and twin swivel cab seats, blown air heat events hidden all throughout the van. Very, very good. Flat floor all the way until bathroom. And we'll drop the, the uh, bed down now. So you just again hum the Thunderbirds theme tune, press the button and down she comes. Very, very quickly. Shosons have one of the quickest drop down beds on the market, which is completely pointless. And you can also stop them at any height. So if you want to make a bed underneath for guests every so often, or if you've had an argument, want a bed each, then you can make a bed underneath. And then you've got a. This bed is huge. Look at that. It's absolutely massive. Uh, much bigger than most drop down beds. It's a fantastic thing. But keep your finger on the button, and it will drop down the rest of the way. And unlike some of the competition, these drop all the way down to seating levels you don't need a step ladder to get into it look at that how easy was that now you can leave this made up there uh, when it's down you can leave your backrest cushions on i love that they make a bit of a headboard as well you can access the door as well fantastic and it's huge it's square it doesn't taper off it's an absolutely massive bed reading lights above window at either end uh, when we get rid of the kids if you want to buy any kids do contact me at hybrid caravans devon we're going to buy one of these in fairness because it's just the best van for two with occasional guests kitchen wires really really good got a big oven for a european van uh compared to its 630 single bedded compact route you've got an extra cupboard there and there so you've got three big cupboards there big downstairs cupboards there really good when the bed's up again you just about see on the end there you've got a flip up bit of extra worktop which is neat you've got bits of storage underneath of these not a lot but you don't need a lot of storage big fridge freezer there as well as you'd expect full width slide out telly bracket that faces the lounge or if you're really really addicted to whatever you're watching you can sorry to make you seasick there pull a button that's really stiff and swivel it around so you can face the toilet now the toilet is in a gorgeous full width bathroom this is absolutely massive it's only seven meters this van but yeah it's got a huge lounge really good kitchen with a big fridge freezer and a really nice bathroom you've got a massive separate shower for one or two if you're feeling friendly uh, with all star trek lighting beyond the lovely bathroom i'm running out of time on this video now you've got a massive virtually full width end storage locker with hanging rail and these new uh, bits there to stop things falling out really really big space these are the infill cushions for your front bed your strangely colored scatter cushions that the french love really nice big mirrors that's your doggy hatch for that